Hello Parkway family and friends. I want to begin first by saying how thankful we are to have this connection with you via video and social media. In a time where it seems everywhere we turn we are being told to maintain our distance from one another, I am thankful that we have this medium to be able to stay connected with one another. I and Melissa are so very grateful for the various messages we have received from you in regards to the efforts of our team to maintain this vital relational connection with you. You are great people, and there is no doubt that we are living in a time of positioning and promotion. I would remind you today that God has a plan and a purpose for everything we go through and for the afflictions which we face. Remember that in accordance with His Word, He will use these things and moments for the greater good of our calling according to His purpose. That all might come to repentance. That relationship with us, His creation, might be restored. But we must be willing. We must have a desire. We must be willing to submit to the testing of our faith and be willing to allow the will of God to be impressed upon our lives that we might be profitable for God's kingdom. This brings me to my Bible text for today. Isaiah 49 verses 1 and 2. Listen to me, O coastlands, and pay attention, you peoples from afar. The Lord called me from the womb. From the body of my mother, he named me. He has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he has hidden me and made me a select arrow in his quiver. He has hidden me. I am reminded of, of a time in my life when the priority of my life, of all of my life, was hunting. Hunting the elusive white-tailed deer with bow and arrow. Though the season was a determined set time, running from about September through December, it was a passion that I pursued 365 days a year, unless a leap year, and then it was 366 days a year. When the rules said I wasn't allowed to hunt, I studied tactics and gear. I researched methods and perfected my skills. But there was something else that I also spent a considerable amount of time doing. I would shoot arrows, and I would tweak them making adjustments to them and shooting them again until I had developed my best arrows. I would mark them with a marker, signifying the best with a one or a two. Then when hunting season finally opened, I filled my quiver with all the arrows I had, which were marked with a one knowing that this selection gave me the best opportunity of making an ethical shot if I were presented with one. My confidence now high as I had worked on and perfected this piece of equipment to the place of it being ready to use, I went into the woods feeling confident in my preparation. Today I would remind you of your significance to God and the fact that he desires to use you to reach our world with a message of hope and salvation. And that while we may not always enjoy the heat or the pressure of the adjustments he is making in our lives, we should take comfort in knowing that if he is working on me, it must mean two things. Number one, he sees potential in me. And two, there must be a job he has just for me. 
the text says that he has made me a select arrow and that he has hidden me away in his quiver. I would encourage you today to be humble, submissive, and patient to both the will and timing of God. He knows what he is doing and the plan that he is working. One more scripture found in Isaiah 49, but verse 6. He says, speaking of God, it is a light thing, it's a simple thing, that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved ones of Israel. I will also make you a light to the nation so that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. We know that there is nothing too hard for our God, and He can and will use you to carry His light to bring change to our nation and to our world, but only if you are willing to be one of His select arrows. My challenge for you today is this. Pray this prayer. God, I am available to be used as you desire for the purpose you intend to accomplish. Be encouraged, family. Be encouraged, friend. God loves you. You are precious to him. Therefore, allow his work in your life that you might be prepared for the calling and the purpose he has intended for you. God bless you and enjoy the remainder of your Monday.